Hey, Michael here for Beer Baseball Blog, The Adventures of Craft Beer and Baseball. I am here at Suplesio Field in Grand Junction, Colorado. UC Health Park in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Coors Field in Denver, Colorado. And Isotopes Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Looking for craft beer and baseball here in Colorado. Okay, before we go into the game, I have a special treat for you. It's about a block away from Coors Field, so we're gonna check that out right now. And I am here with Ben at the National Ballpark Museum, Denver, Colorado, right outside Coors Field. Can you tell me more about this fantastic museum? I sure can, Michael. Well, welcome to the best kept secret in Denver. Absolutely. This is the National Ballpark Museum. This uh, started as a private collection and has now turned into one of the top tourist attractions here in Denver. This museum celebrates the original 14 ballparks built in the American and National League, built between 1909 and 1923. Inside this museum, we have small vignettes of some of the most spectacular aspects of ballparks in Cincinnati, Boston, New York, Chicago, Philadelphia. It's a must-see when you're coming to Denver. And let's start with this guy, an usher from the late 1940s, early 1950s. So he looks like he's got a smiling face right now, but he's wearing a wool uniform of the time. So you can imagine what that was like in the hot Cincinnati humid conditions. This was worth uh, five to eight pounds of weight loss. So he was well ahead of Weight Watchers. Got a nice section here dedicated to the New York Yankees and specifically the house that Ruth built. So many great players came through Yankee Stadium. We can start with this 1957 Usher's uniform. Like everything in New York, they've got to be better than anybody else, so they had the most wool in the Usher's uniform. And some great pictures, particularly dating back to the Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle era. So a must-see part of the Ballpark Museum. I'm probably gonna have to have at least two days in here to see everything. It is a really amazing museum. Where is this located? Located at 1940 Blake Street, about 100 yards from Coors Field. You can't miss it. So the Red Sox are playing the Rockies right now, and I gotta get over there because it is game time. Thank you so much for showing me around. I was really happy to meet you. It's been a pleasure. Okay, so my first time in Denver, my first time at Coors Field, and I definitely had to check out all angles of the stadium. The first thing I noticed was 5280, which actually signifies 5,280 feet above sea level. There's a purple stripe that goes along the upper deck to commemorate that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my first craft beer at Coors Field at Mile High. The Haze and Infused Pale Ale from Boulder Beer Company, Colorado's first craft brewery. It's a sessional four hop blend. And I'm gonna walk around and give you some other angles of this great stadium. I am here with Justin and Andrew from War Just Do. Thank you so much for meeting me here in Colorado Springs. Tell me why you're here. We're just doing a fun little promotion, doing a fan meetup, doing stuff on the field, having a good time. Yeah, we're also making a video. So we just ran into our man here. He told us about his channel. I think it's super cool and super creative. So yeah, hope you guys are subscribed unique. because uh, clearly it sounds like he's doing pretty cool content. Well, thank you so much. Um, now, do you, do you love craft beer? 
I actually am not too big of a beer fan. Oh, Sorry. okay. I, do, I, I like ciders though. Yeah, ciders good. <laughs> now, ciders are a very underrated craft type of drink. What What is your favorite drink? I really love kombucha actually. Oh, I think, oh. you know, it's like a healthy alter alternative to okay. soda and it's it just tastes good to me. So. My girlfriend loves kombucha, so I get her one oh, almost yeah. every day, absolutely. Where are you off to next? Oh man, we're all over the place. We do videos everywhere, so I'm not sure. You're gonna have to just stay tuned in order to find that out. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Let's get back to the game. Like and subscribe. Anyone that follows this blog knows that I love an IPA. Tonight is the Twin Tail IPA from Red Lake Brewing, brewed by veterans here in Colorado Springs. It is hoppy, it is floral, a slight bit of citrus in there. The vibes are leading at this point. It is a ninth inning, so let's go check that out. Pioneer League action tonight in Grand Junction, Colorado. It is the Ogden Raptors versus the Grand Junction Rockies. Sam Plesio Field is actually home to the National Junior College World Series, and it sits at the base of the Grand Mesa, which is the world's largest flat top mountain at over 500 miles. So I'm gonna give you some shots around the stadium, and then we're gonna go check out some Colorado craft beer. Let's go. Okay, so the Colorado craft beer tonight is the Dirty Hippie Dark Ale from Palisade Brewing Company in Palisade, Colorado. Now, I normally wouldn't start with a dark ale at a baseball game, but it was highly recommended to me and it's a, a fan favorite here. And I'll agree, it was very malty, smooth, with a little hint of orange. Uh, it was really delicious and I'm really glad I got it. This is Jeff, an Ogden Raptors fan, a fan of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Oh, yeah. uh, who's your favorite Los Angeles Dodger? Oh, it's gotta be Cody Bellinger. Yeah. From his breakout season as a rookie to having a sophomore slump last year and coming back and shattering all expectations Expectations. He is a stud out there. He's gonna make a big impact in LA for a while. Now I ask everybody this, do you like craft beer? Uh, yes. Oh, all right, so oh, give yeah. me a Colorado craft beer that you like. All right, so I got an odd one for you. This is out of Avery Brewing Company, Boulder, Colorado. They've got a Lilikoi white ale. Lilikoi is a special fruit mainly grown in Hawaii. It just is a really great summer beer. Oh. Crisp, clean, refreshing and you get that really nice fruity flavor, perfect for patio season. All right, I will definitely check that out. You said you lived in San Jose for a while. How, how'd you become a Dodger fan? <laughs> yeah, so I grew up in San Jose, parents born and raised in Los Angeles. They were like, no son of mine is gonna be a Giants fan growing up. So I am a Dodger fan, although I do have a little bit of a Giants connection. Way back in the late 2000s, I actually was a bat boy for the San Jose Giants. That's the high A, single A affiliate for the San Francisco Giants. And back then there was this overweight catcher 280 pounds, guy from Venezuela, guy named uh, Pablo Sandoval. No one really knew of him. I, I think he turned out pretty well. He did pretty well. What, are you ready for our connection? All this, right. This is amazing. I was actually a bad boy for the Phoenix Giants in the 80s. <laughs> That's awesome. So you have two giant bat boys. Look at that. Incredible. All right, so the Raptors are up five to three in the bottom of the ninth. Are the Rockies gonna come back? Let's go down to field level and check it out. Let's go Raptors. So you're probably wondering how on a Colorado video that we made it to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, the Isotopes are actually the AAA affiliate of the Colorado Rockies, so there's an affiliation there. But I actually wanted to make another special stop to the Albuquerque Duke store, which is actually just north of the stadium here in Albuquerque. Now the Dukes were actually the baseball team here before the Isotopes, and they have a rich history. They used to be the affiliate for the Dodgers. They were managed by Tommy Lasorda. They have a lot of Hall of Fame players, including Pedro Martinez and Mike Piazza. So I wanted to come to this store, which actually keeps that tradition alive. I wanted to get a hat, I wanted to get a jersey. So I'm gonna show you around the store a little bit and let you get a little glimpse into some history of Albuquerque.
Isotopes Park in Albuquerque, New Mexico. My first time here. I'm really glad I made it as it's the Isotopes last home game of the season. I now have 23 minor league ballparks. Outnumbers my major league ballparks by one. The featured New Mexico craft beer is the 7K IPA from Santa Fe Brewing Company. joining me on these adventures please like and subscribe turn on notifications and we will see you at the ballpark